All right. What's going on, everybody? It's Honorable the God Slayer. I'm really gamer. We're back. We just got through having a a nice discussion and and uh nice lesson on etheric or an etheric knowledge. A rather hefty portion of food for thought. Oh, that's giving me much to mull over. I feel as though we're one step closer to understanding the Transform's true motives and the mysteries of life itself for good measure. It's funny, I came here with the intent of expressing my gratitude only to leave more indebted than before. I feel... I have a feeling his friendship and support will be a great boon to us in the days to come. <clears throat> and on that note, let's head back to the Annex. Okay, well, why will Quest is not available. Requires job. Disciple of the hand man. Oh. Oh, okay. I get it. Okay. That's for crafting jobs. Okay. more thing. No! Oh. oh, yeah. Alright, let's go! Where are we going, anyway? Okay. What I hear your trip to the studio improved most educational. I received word from my fellow scions. As expected, news of the warning scales was met with much joy. Preparations are now underway to bring the leadership of the Grand Company of Eorzea and the Eastern Alliance together to determine a way forward. Our friends have asked that we bring the scales in our possession to Limsa Lomensa. 
so the time has come for us to go on the offensive. It's too early to say for certain, but that does seem to be the way the winds are blowing. I, for one, can think of no reason to oppose such a plan, but let us see what awaits us in Vilbert. Let's start by getting the scales out of storage. Give me a hand, would you extend it? I didn't realize these crates were so heavy. I shouldn't complain though, Vitra and the alchemists of the great work put their heart and soul into each and every one of these scales, so you must treat them with the utmost care. Are you not coming with us? As much as I would like to escape the forum's watchful gaze, I have little choice but to stay behind. We're already on thin ice and if I, in my capacity as our official representative, were found to be consorting with foreign powers, well... You can imagine how that would go. <clears throat> I should remain here and do my utmost to avoid ruffling any more feathers as I await word from Master Matoya and our other allies. But luck will soon have good news on our own of our own to share. The tide is about to turn, I can feel it. To Limsa Lomensa. It's been a minute since we've been to Limson. told to expect you. As you may or may not be aware, the Admiral is at present presenting the entertaining the Elder Seed Seer and the Sultana. Three of the most powerful women in the world in one room. You need a moment to prepare, or shall I show you to them? Eh, hey, go on, ship, go on. Some send me in there. I ain't scared of them girls. Hell. I'm the champion of Eorzea, cuz. I slap gods down with this sword. You see this sword on my back? I done slapped many a god. Okay. My apologies for calling you away from Charlie and at such a certain notice. On the contrary, we are honored and grateful. I'm pleasantly surprised to be joined at such an este by such esteemed company. It was only right that this discussion be conducted in person. We are locked in a war of attrition. Our forces struggle to contain the threat posed by the towers, and it's only a matter of time before we are overwhelmed. Victory will only be claimed through decisive action, and we have taken the initiative to set the wheels in motion. It is reassuring to learn we are all in accord. Might I ask what your plan entails? hinges entirely on our awarding skills and our ability to utilize their potential to the fullest. During your time in Charlotte, the Allied nations have been engaged on separate fronts with no end in sight. To make matters worse, a surge and abductions of Cobalt, a Sagagan exile, and the Nanta have given rise to an increasing number of primals as raids. Well, but your triumph at Razak Khan has given us cause to hope once more. The time has come to free ourselves of this menace. And it is you, the scions of the Seventh Dawn, who have shown us the way. With the bulk of our forces will continue to hold the Talafaroi at bay, we will dispatch our finest to strike at the enemy's heart, Garlemald. These brave new 
few will be the Ilz the Ilzabad contingent. I think such progress has been made in such a short spot time span. His objectives. The objectives are twofold. To provide aid to the people of the Gollum. Provide aid to the people of Gollumel. As previously reported, countless Imperial soldiers and civilians have been tempered, robbed of their free will. They searched to Lafar's every realm without question. They too are victims. It is our duty to deliver them from their suffering, not for strategic or political gain, but because it is the right thing to do. I do not ask that we set aside the decades of conflict and conquest, that we simply choose to forgive and forget. I only ask that in choosing to remember, we do not also forsake our compassion and morality, for without that, there can be no reconciliation, only death without end. On that, we can all agree. Our second objective is the colossal tower that Thancred and Uriange observed in the capital. Though it is purpose remains unclear, there's reason to believe the smaller spires are merely a precursor of what is yet to come. Until the Tower of Zot was toppled, we'd failed to make any headway. Though the same could be said of the Talaferoi, they're certainly in no rush to press further into our lands. I'd rage of the spire's primary purpose is to divide and keep us occupied while they work towards our annihilation. This would appear to be substantiated by Astola's analysis of the tower's influence on etherical currents. Based on her observations inside the Tower of Zot, the spires siphon aether from the land, consuming it to maintain their form. However, they draw far more they uh, they draw forth far more than is what is required for this task alone. The excess of aether remains unaccounted for, but we can be sure it is not being harnessed for our benefit. It wouldn't surprise me in the least if it was being redirected to the large spire in the capital. There's a logic in that. Regardless, once we have uncovered the truth, we will bring their schemes crashing down, along with their infernal towers. That's all well and good. But what would you have us do? I assume it's more than handing over the crystals, I mean the scales, and being on our way. We want you and your scales to join the Ilzabar contingent. Consider it in an official request from both the Grand Company of Eorzea and the Eastern Alliance. Do you accept? Perhaps you should be the one to answer that. For honor and glory! Couldn't have put it better myself. Stola, Thakrin, and UNJ have already pledged their support and are on their way to meet the rest of the contingent. They were positive you would come to the same conclusion as they did, decision as they did. Luckily for all involved, their prediction was correct. Once you have delivered the warding scales to Alamigo, the contingent will embark on this journey to Ilzabad. Raubon and Lord Emmerich are overseeing preparations, so I suggest you make yourselves known upon arrival. Pack warm clothing, furs and the like. Without it, the cold will do you in before the Talaferoi, so much as draw steel. As for us, we'll keep the enemy busy while you're gone. They're not the only ones who can create a diversion. Now go, safe in the knowledge Eorzea will be as you left it. Or better, upon your return. Where we going? Hold on. Where we going? Let's 
Speak to Rabba and I'll meet in court. Okay, I mean, I've been here to, El yeah, I've been to El Girabana, but I'm like, or El Ilzabar. Oh, I haven't talked to Rabban in a minute. Yo, Rabban. Yo, Rabban. Let me hit these back streets. Let me hit these back streets. Oh, oh, that was that was that was a that was a, that was a oh that was a treacherous back street right there. Oh, I should have just failed. They just got me. Rabban. Bravo. Bravo. There you is. There you is. Well, what happened, Rob Ball Boy? I ain't see you in a minute, cuz. What's up, my G? Ah, the Wanderers return. You been busy bringing down a tower and producing the keys to destroying the rest of them. We should be proud. Those awarding scales of yours are what's made this whole venture possible. Will you and Lord Emmerich be leading the contingent? Regrettably, no. Our role is to organize the various delegations into a cohesive new uh, unit. Once we have you, once we have seen you all off, it's back to our respective posts. We dare not neglect our duties for too long lest our defensive efforts fall into disarray. And just between us, there was a fair amount of opposition to the formation of the Elzebar contingent. The very suggestion that we send out some of our finest troops behind enemy lines to render aid unto the Garleans has made me rather unpopular in certain quarters. Can't please them all. Sadly not, though I do my best. Truth be told, I'd much rather be at your side, charging into the fray. Alas, I have battles of my own to fight, where words may serve me better than any blade. I hate to say it, but Lord Emmerich's struggles mirror, mirror my own. For the time being, the best we can afford you is the peace of mind from knowing Eorzea's in safe hands. As you fight the good fight in Ilzabar, I and other commanders will do, whatever, do what we can to convince the naysayers that our cause is just. Thank you, both of you. We meet again. What, guys? <laughs> All these OGs coming out of nowhere for a Gaius Van Belsar. Word, word of your exploits travels quickly. From what I gather, the protective talismans you obtained led to the to the formation of this ex ex expeditionary force. My contribution on this occasion is but a minor one, that being the information I've shared with Maxima. For the sake of the people of Gollumal, may the fates be on your side. So you're not coming with us. Strange. I thought you'd have a stake in this. I do. The Tilaferoi have laid waste to my homeland and enslaved my people. But though every moat of my being cries for vengeance, I cannot be the one to deliver it. My presence alone would place the entire mission in jeopardy. I stand accused of murdering Emperor Varus and plunging Garlemald into chaos. Were I to travel with the Ilzabar contingent, it would give my countrymen ample cause to question our motives. Conversely, those who believe me innocent may instead celebrate the return of a former legatus and attempt to raise me to a position of leadership, further destabling the region and complicating the contingent's mission. Well, whether I be, whether I am branded a villain or hailed as a hero, I can only hinder your efforts.
We will deliver your your people from all. You a cool dude, guys. You a cool dude, man. I, I got your back. You a cool dude. We had to squab a couple of times, but you a cool dude, man. You a G. You know what I'm saying? You a real one. I give you that. For what it is worth, you have my gratitude. You and your comrades have the strength and courage to deliver my countrymen. I'm certain of it. In light of Gaius's rather unique circumstances, I instead will assume the role of your guide. Though I may have defected for political reasons, my love for Galamal endures. I would stop at nothing to protect her and her people. Well said. Might I ask you to escort our friends inside? You might even bump into an old acquaintance or two. And if I don't see you ere you depart, may the fury guide you and protect you. All of you. All right. Maximus, Maximus. But we'll have you meet your traveling companions. The other members of the Ilsebar contingent are gathered in the Royal Palace. I shall inform them of your arrival, so please make your way inside as soon as you are ready. Your friends, wait with you within. Would you like to see me through? Yes. Let's go. Glad you could join us. I hope you don't mind, but we went ahead and started without you. Well, they came squad up, baby. They came mobbed up. <coughs> they came in mobbed deep. As you can imagine, our traveling companions were eager to become acquainted. It is a rare thing indeed to see such a diverse and talented group of individuals assembled for a single purpose. We fight not only for the sake of Eorzea, but for the entire world, including the people of Garlemald. Much rides on the efforts of the Ilzebard contingent. Indeed, which is why I am glad to find myself in the company of many trusted comrades. Yourselves included. Lucia, boy. Lucia. I have come at the behest of Lord Emmerich, who has honored me with the role of Ishgard's representative. And for the good of all nations, not least my former homeland, I am determined to see this mission through to its end. We have a hard road ahead of us, but walk it we shall, together. We too welcome this opportunity to work together once more. I have faith that if there is a way to resolve this conflict, we will find it. Allow me to introduce you to the rest of our company. Everyone! If I may have your attention. Might I ask you to speak first? If I must. Arun Senna. I am Arun Senna, spokesman for the Gridanian delegation. Here on behalf of my esteemed sister, the Elder Seedseer, we shall provide support 
and protection to those in need during our time in Garlemald. To that end, I am joined by healers selected by the Conjurer's Guild, with the Order of the Twin Adder's Finest serving as our escort. Suppose I'd better say my piece. Sicker, can up. Wait, I know you. The name's Sickard, in case you've forgotten. Truth be told, I'd rather you had forgotten. Any road, the Admiral asked Captain Hillfear to send his best, and for whatever reason, he picked me. Of course, if I'd refused, I'd be the laughing stock of the bloody executioners, and my reputation's taken enough of a key haul in as it is. But more importantly, like any pirate worth his salt, I know when you're staring down a storm, you got to trust in the commander of your ship. So if the Admiral wants us to go to Garlemald, not for plunder and glory, but a promise of peace in our time, then that's what we'll do. There you go, sick. There you go. Since we all know how much the Empire loves its steel, we thought we'd bring along a few smiths to make the most of it. Give them a pile of scrap and they'll cobble together anything you fancy. Of course, just like the Gradanians, we got fighters of our own. We might have come with a more constructive purpose in mind, but we're more than capable of cracking skulls, believe you me. Boy, what? <laughs> That's a thug right there, boy, straight thug. Well, you're certainly raring to go. But then again, so are we. The most dependable warriors of Uldar and Alamigo have assembled at the Sultana and General Aldin's behest. If Garlemald has truly fallen, then the whole place is likely to be crawling with Telophoroi. We'll need plenty of troops to clear and hold a path for others to follow. That's where we come in. Naturally, Marshal Tarrapin and I will be leading from the front. It's been some time since I last saw you in your element on the battlefield. From what I've heard, you've become pretty fearsome yourself. Master Matoya, the Avatar of Destruction. <laughs> <laughs> With comrades like these, I know we'll succeed, no matter what awaits us. And then we might finally get a chance to enjoy a good long rest. But until then, let's give it our all. As for Ishgard, we Temple Knights have come in force to uphold our nation's commitment to the peace and welfare of our allies. The bitter cold of Garlemald is a formidable enemy in of itself. Our experience fighting in ice and snow will prove invaluable in the days ahead. Accordingly, I have been designated commander of the Ilzabad contingent. I will do all in my power to provide you with the leadership and guidance you require. Okay, Lucia! The four high houses, House Hylenart foremost among them, have arranged for a host of machinists to join us on our mission. Their knowledge of Imperial Magitech is sure to be a great boon. They will address any problems of a technical nature together with the smiths of Limpsa Lumitsa. There is another awaiting introduction. Lord Emanelaine? Emanelaine, boy! Ah, yes. Uh, Emanelaine de Fortor, at your service. De Fortor. What? what? Though, lest there be any misunderstanding, I should stress that I've not become a fearsome warrior while you were away. Rather, far from it, actually. My brother, in his infinite wisdom, decided this would be an excellent chance to make something of myself. Oh, and fight for world peace and all that. <coughs> but, should the opportunity arise for a spot of ballroom dancing, I will be your twinkle-toed gentleman of light. <laughs>
I dare say your fancy footwork may be all that stands between us and certain doom. <laughs> I cannot wait to regale Onohua with my tales of daring do. I believe that concludes introductions for the Grand Company of Eorzea. Our allies from the Eastern Alliance were due to arrive some time ago, but it would appear they have been delayed. Would that be the Shinobi of Doma? Actually, they've been tasked with relaying messages back and forth between the various Eastern nations. According to Lord Hien, however, an equally capable company of warriors has been sent in their stead. Out of my way, you preening fool! Oh shit! They brought- Boy! Boy! They brought- They brought the- Yo! They, <laughs> they brought the Alrock clicks! <laughs> Forgive us for coming late. We are the delegates of the Eastern Alliance. Boy, they, they brought little sun! They, they brought the sun and the moon! They Serena, and you've brought company. They brought the sun and the moon, For boy! battle and blood we come, as a step is sorely lacking in both. No towers befoul our lands, so we marched on those of Doma, only to find them beyond our reach. But now our thirst for slaughter will be slaked. No quarter to the enemy! Sadu Hatun, no. We go to make peace with the Iron Men, not war. Warriors of the Steppe, we've heard many tales of your bravery. We welcome you as allies. And these other ones you have brought are... Members of the Dalmascan Resistance Group, Lente's Tears. And the Bosnian Resistance. Between them, they have a wealth of experience in espionage, and are particularly adept at infiltrating Imperial facilities. Which is fortuitous, since Garlemald's domain is so vast that I could never hope to handle reconnaissance duties all by myself. Dalmasca, Bosnia, Alamigo. All lands which have suffered the tyranny of the Empire. I would never presume to question your motives. Nevertheless, I must reiterate that our goal is to aid the victims of the Telophoroi, the common folk of Garlemald. And they are victims, make no mistake. Though I understand that many <coughs> may struggle to see them as such. You're more right than you know. For every one of us that answered the call, there were a dozen that refused. Not only in Alamigo, but everywhere we went. And who could blame them? The Empire's always been the enemy. Hmm. Yeah, that's gotta been hard. That had to be difficult. After seeing what we've seen, fighting and working against and with Garleans, there's no denying the simple truth. They're just people. No different from you or I. They've got their share of liars and murderers, but so do we. So do we all. Fordola, who once swore herself to Garlemald, has proven herself a trusted ally time and time again. Every Eorzean here knows Sid Garland, the Imperial Defector who shared with us countless technological wonders. Maxima, who stands with us today, Tried to reform Garlemald from within and make peace with Joma. So you can believe me when I say that every fighter here understands and accepts that the Imperials are not monsters and are deserving of help. Or at least that they were able to put aside their feelings for the greater good. It won't be easy. But we're all determined to make this world a better place. Them Vieira girls, boy. What lingering concerns I may have had were clearly unwarranted. I agree with everything you said wholeheartedly. 
Then we are in accord. Now, let us review our strategy. To reach the Galian capital in northern Ilsebad, we must cross the central mountain range. Fortunately, Garland Ironworks can provide aerial transport, sparing us this most treacherous part of our journey. However, attempting to fly any closer to Garlemald would attract the attention of the Telophoroi. As they appear to have seized control of the majority of the Imperial military, we must assume that includes its fleet. In addition, Garlemald possesses devices that can interfere with airship navigational systems, further discouraging an airborne approach. Given the circumstances, the closest we dare deploy our contingent is an area between the range and the capital, the Magna Glacias. From there, we must travel the rest of the way on foot. <coughs> we will also need to bring the airships with us to ensure we can withdraw with haste. Although much of the terrain will be blanketed in snow, we should be able to make use of local roads and shipping facilities. The vast ice field will afford us an unobstructed view of the surrounding area. On the other hand, it will also allow others to easily spot us. So, it is imperative that we only <coughs> make camp in positions where we can easily defend ourselves. And the airships, which must be kept safe at all costs. We cannot account for every possibility, so we must be prepared to think on our feet. We will be tested. Sorely tested, I expect. But for our homes and for our people, and a people not our own but in need, we will succeed. Spare no effort in your preparations. Once we depart, there is no turning back. Well, the sun and the moon came, boy! Okay. Boy, the sun and the moon came. The moon, boy, look at her. I care not for the Iron Men or their troubles. It is the destiny of the weak to die in it. Damn, ignominy. Even so, I will do as I have agreed. I volunteered to join this band at Serena's request. To the worthy cause, that is reason enough. Though we hail from different tribes, our bond has grown strong of late. She is much better company on our hunt than any of the steps oafish men could dream to be. The mole champions of the Nadam and the Dothari having sensed so much here, I had thought to defend the step in their absence. And I would have done so were it not for my stepbrothers. They urged me to grant our allies the sun's might, that his radiance may deliver unto them victory. Though I must tolerate the presence of this feral, Dratharly dog, as first among my brothers, I could do no less than accept this challenge. My deeds will be the stuff of legends. Boy, the sun and the moon, boy, what? That's what I'm talking about, baby. We got the whole real click here. Hey, Stola, baby girl, you brought the whole click with you. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Besides the delegates assembled here, the Amalja and several other tribes offered to send troops of their own. Unfortunately, due to their physiology, many would struggle simply to survive the harsh climate. They would also likely prove tempting targets for abduction. All things considered, they can better aid the cause of bolstering our defenses in Eorzea, though their eagerness to do more has been noted. If you shall have to suffice every bar embark, we must distribute the warding scales to our comrades. Care to do the honors? We heard it would be cold in Gothamal, so we came prepared. Of oh, the talismans. She is so cute. We are here to keep we're here to keep these close at all times, yes? 
I will see that no one misplaces theirs. Oh, and I, before I forget, I have a message from here. Into in distant lands and times of strife, together stand, together fight. In darkness shines the light of life. I hope I have done his words justice. Doma, like much of Orthar, has been plagued by the towers. Yet while he could not be here, he wished to express his shared conviction. He and you get your labor without rest to unite the people, and with their aid, we will be able to keep the enemy at bay. And we of the Steppe and the Eastern Alliance will repay their efforts by ending this war. My man back there, my man back there busted them squats. My man back there like, yeah, I'm about to get it in, but me bust these squats real quick. Get my, get myself nice and warmed up. About to bust them squats. Okay. All right. Who's next? Who's next? Uh. Yes. So these are the famed warding scales. Enough for me and my men, I see. Under normal circumstances, I would not be allowed to travel outside of the Twelves Wood. The Elder Seer, however, has granted me special permission. She has bid me lend my magics to the people of Garlemald, while learning all I can of their ways. In doing so, I will come closer to understanding myself and my place in the world. Or so she says. I say it is past time our allies benefited from the power of a sea seer's disposal. Some bemoan that we hide our light under a bushel, and I intend to address that criticism. Okay. Yo, sicker, what's good, cuz? I hear you got something for us. Ah, them scales everyone's been talking about. Pretty little things, ain't they? Reckon they'll be worth a gill or two when this is all over. But we'll hold on to them for now. And one more thing, I know what you're all thinking. Why they send? Why didn't they send Inzvar instead? Bugger if I know. All the Admiral and Captain Hillfire told me is they needed someone to help safeguard the future. And here I am. Can't say. Can't say they haven't got a sense of humor. Cause some of you might be wondering. What a good pirate is on dry land. What good a pirate is on dry land. In the middle of a sodden snow of all places. Well, me and me crew will do whatever needs doing. So let us set sail or however the sand goes on airships. <laughs> that a set of warning scales I spy? Not that I would know what they look like. Look at these, even a layman like me can tell they're bursting with aether. All the better to fend off the tempering waves? Is that the right time? Anyway, these will give us one less thing to worry about. It just leaves the mountain of whatever else is waiting for us in Gollum Mall. Only one way to find out, eh? And nervous or not, I'd march through all seven hells if it gave me a chance to put Xenos back in the grave where he belongs. <laughs> Warding scales of the Gisgardian delegation, I take it. Yes! Many thanks. These talismans may prove to be the deciding factor in the battles to come. I find myself conflicted by this foray into Golemo, sent by the Empire to infiltrate Ishgard, only to throw my in my lot with those whose secrets I was supposed to be stealing. And now I lead a mission to save the countrymen I betrayed. But that is doubtless but that is doubtless why I was chosen by Lord Amory. He would have me put my extensive knowledge and former ties to good use. I will not disappoint him. For the future of Ishgard, Galamal, and the world at large, I will lead us to victory. <laughs> Do 
You have a warning skill for me too. Sure do, bro. Here you go. Thank you for this. And for going to such great lengths for the sake of my people. Though I have little to offer in return, I would impart some advice, if I may. You have been told by many to wear the coat of Isabar, and I cannot stress enough that it is of no it is no token warning. <clears throat> I will be distributing specially made warming tinctures, courtesy of the Alchemist Guild. But understand that they are no substitute for proper protection. I leave the provisioning of said protection to your discretion. Now, let us proceed to the Alamegan Quarter. While you make your final preparations, I will have the pilots ready the airships. Okay. This is our last chance to make ready before we set forth. You need to worry about Arian J and I. We have, we still have yet what we, we still have what we wore in Gallimore before. Estinian claims to be quite warm and toasty beneath his armor. And since he spent a, spare, a, a fair bit of time up north recently as well, I have no reason to doubt his words. <clears throat> Most of the other will be borrowing Grand Company stock. The rest of you could do likewise. I suppose, provided you're not overly concerned with style. Not to put too fine a point on it, but I wouldn't be seen dead in one of those ridiculous overcoats. If only I had time to find something to my liking. Hawk! Is that the cry of scions in need of a tailor I hear? But how? I have my ways, oh yes indeed. You thought you could sneak off to Ilzebar without telling me? Nothing escapes my notice. Now you will wear these garments I have made for you whether you like it or not. You never cease to amaze. But why did you need a why do you need a new outfit as well? <clears throat> Wait, are you coming with us? What? Of course not. It's all in the name of fashion. Rather, the pursuit of the highest quality fashion. Besides, how can I expect others to wear my creations if I never wore them myself? I did have one other thing to share. Amerigas and Blomwida have finally returned from their assignments in faraway lands. They'll be staying at the Rising Stones for a while to keep an eye on events throughout Eorzea. Since they'll be returning things back at headquarters, I was wondering if I could lend a hand in Charlien. Why not? You can keep crowd company in the Baldessian Annex. We'd love to have you there. And I heard Argmus, Argmus and, and Blumwita did a fine job carrying on in your stead, in our stead while we were lying comatose. With them in the charge of the Rising Stones, we've nothing to worry about. My thoughts exactly. Also, while I'm confident you won't go collapsing again because a certain someone who shall remain nameless isn't in a position to transport your souls to another world. <laughs> if anything similar disaster, similarly disastrous were to happen, I would be well positioned to do something about it. Anyway, I've got a few things to take care of, and then I'm on my way to Charlene. I really do hope these new clothes are enough to keep you warm and calamald. It's not much, but it's the only thing I can do for you, other than pray for your safe return, which I will every day. Let's not keep the contingent waiting any longer. Here are your winter woolies. Handcrafted by yours truly.
Boy, look at that. Boy, look at that chinchilla. Look at that chinchilla coat. Look at that chinchilla right there. Looking like, looking like a, looking something very much like a pimp. All right. We're going to end it here, guys, in the next one. We're going to be heading to Ilzabad. I'm going to the God Slayer. I'm out.